Hello and welcome to um to another City Till I Die video. It's a bit of a sad one, really. Dean Holden has been relieved of his duties, sacked, whatever you want to call it, um, as Bristol City head coach. It will be down in Simpson to take over for the rest of the season. Early names being thrown around: Cook, um, Michael Appleton, Russell Martin. People are saying Eddie Howe, Slavin Bilic, etc. I don't think that's going to happen. But anyway, we'll talk about that in a bit. Dean Holden, after a 2-0 loss last night and six successive defeats in all competitions, we haven't scored a goal in four games in all comps, um, which isn't ideal, really. It's two weeks of two weeks of games without having the ball in the net, which isn't great, which is games against Cardiff, Sheffield United, Watford, where we lost 6-0, our heaviest defeat in nine years, and Reading last night, where we didn't do great, and we've, we've not had many shots on target in all of those games either. I think we had one on Saturday against Watford. I probably had two or three maybe last night. Not many against Cardiff, not many against Sheffield United at all. But, um, yeah, it's not been the best, really. Um, Downing and Simpson are going to take over training for the next couple of days, which kind of leads me to believe after that club statement last night, it didn't say they're going to be caretaker managers. It said they're just going to take care of training for the, um, for the next couple of days or weeks or whatever, which kind of makes me and a few other City fans that I've spoken to think that with that sort of wording, it's... Um, it's likely that we might have someone lined up to come in by Saturday's game against Barnsley. Whether or not that happens, I'm not sure. For me, I think the one we need to go with is Paul Cook. Um, just because I think that, like, I don't know, really, he's just good, isn't he? Like, he's, he gets players fighting for the bad. If you look at him at Wigan last season, they only ended up going down because of a points deduction. And he looked at points early on before he came in, in, like, January, I think it was. Um or he might have been there the whole season. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. But it looked like they were cut adrift, and he got them. He got them up for it again, uh, post lockdown, especially when I think they won some. They beat someone like five 0 or something like that towards the end of the season. Someone like mid table, when Wigan was still struggling, and obviously they ended up going down because of the points deduction that they incurred. But I think he's probably the one I would go for. Nigel Pearson's been thrown around a bit. David Wagner, but I'm not too fond of David Wagner at the moment because of that Schalke record before he left this season. Uh, well, I don't think they won a game in ages, did they? Um, at the start of the season until we left. But that's something, I don't know, something for the club to decide ultimately. I think players like Eddie Howe, Frank Lampard, Slavin Bilic are being thrown around. Oh, sorry, not players, managers. Um, and I don't see any of those happening because A, they'll all be too expensive for Ashton to want to sign. B, Ashton wants to make all the signings, not the manager. He wants a head coach, doesn't he? Not a manager, from what we've heard. Um, and I just don't think they're realistic. Lampard will get what Lampard will want slash get a prem job. Bilic, not gonna come here if if Ashton's in charge. Eddie Howe could come here, but again, if Ashton's in charge, I don't see it happening. Or if Ashton's the director of football or whatever it is, I don't see it happening. But look, it's gonna be a bit of a shorter video today, mainly because I just feel bad for Dean Holden. I think he he really wanted to succeed at the club. Um, and he clearly had the desire and the determination and he had a good drive to to succeed and do it and like break boundaries, etc. But he was ravaged by injuries, which was a shame. And having someone like Mark Ashton above you just doesn't help, does it? Mark Ashton and John Lansdowne. John Lansdowne's on, ho on holiday in the Caribbean at the moment, apparently. Steve, uh, Steve Lansdowne did an interview the other day with BBC Bristol or BBC Radio Bristol or whatever it's called. Um, and he said that John is currently in the Caribbean pursuing personal interests, which I'm presuming means he's on holiday. So, nice. Um, and Mark Ashton's just a bit of a fool at the moment, isn't he? But that's that's a whole different thing. Um, yeah, I feel bad for Holden. I think, well, none, none of our fans ever got to see him in person, like manage the, manage the team. Whether or not it could have been a different story maybe with fans. Would, did, did the players stop playing for him a bit? Later, um, I feel like the last three, four games, players have just given up. They're not bothered. As soon as it got a bit tough for under him, they were like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, care. Like, Jesus got to be off in the summer. Wells clearly doesn't want to be here. Lansbury, poor signing. Brunt, poor signing. It was bad and then injured. You know, we've struggled with injuries in terms of like Sesson, Young, Mawson, O'Dowd, or Patterson was out for ages, etc., etc. We don't have a left back at the moment, but we had a whole of January to sign one and we didn't because that's what we do. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try and wrap this one up a bit quickly, really, because I, I don't really have a lot to say on it, to be honest. I thought I had more to say on it, but I'm sitting here and I'm like, I don't know, I'm just kind of torn, really. Should he have gone? Should he have stayed? I think it's time for a change, really. It was time for a change when we sacked Johnson, though. That's the thing. We sacked Johnson and then appointed his number two, which was never really going to work. Holden had a whole 25 games of experience before 
where he was caretaker with us, and that was at Oldham, where he took over from Johnson and then he got the permanent job for 20 games. He had, I think it was 40 games in charge across the permanent job and the caretaker job with us, um, which is which is a decent little run, I suppose, but he did all right, I think, overall, really. The only issue is we, did get, we are now sucked into a relegation battle, which... It's pathetic when you think that we're a team that at the start of the season won our opening four games and we were like, playoffs, playoffs, playoffs. We could get in there and we should be getting in there. But injuries got in our way, really, from um, sort of November to, to January, February. And it's just been an awful run, an awful run. But I feel bad for the bloke. It's, um, it's probably, it's, I wouldn't say it's an undeserved sacking, but he, didn't, he, he shouldn't have got the job in the first place. He was thrown in at the deep end. And um and not exactly given rubber arm or armbands or whatever by um by the board, but look, hey ho, it is what it is. We gotta now get on the search for a new manager. Hopefully, we can find one in the next week or so. I don't want another six, five, six weeks of waiting just to appoint Keith Downing as the next manager or Simpson or whatever. But yeah, um, I'll leave it there, and I hope you enjoyed. I know it's a bit of a short one. I know there's really not a lot to say. We were poor last night. We've had a couple of shots. Reading scored. A, a good ish goal for their first one, and then straight away afterwards, Luke, uh, what's his name, Morrison, decided he'd just run through our team and nobody tried to tackle him really, so that was good. And then it just deflected over Bentley. But you've already hopefully seen the matchday POV feed last night. If you haven't, then go and check that out. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Like, share, subscribe, all of that. Uh, we're trying to hit 1k subs by the end of the year, and I will see you in the next one. There's a career mode out tomorrow. Uh, career mode out on Friday and then we got the match day POV on Saturday. Well, the career mode might not be out on Friday because if we appoint someone by then, I'll do a video discussing what I think about that. But hopefully we can get Paul Cook or Nigel Pearson or someone along those lines in. I'd rather it wasn't Russell Martin or Appleton, but look, we'll have to wait and see and we'll we'll see what comes of it. But up the city, we don't stop supporting. We love this club and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Can you take any deeper?